Hello everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals. Thank you for being here with me today. Today we're going to do a quick and easy tutorial. And let me show you my inspiration for this tutorial. As you guys know, I love to gather vintage items, uh, Christmas cards, ephemera, postcards. I just love everything vintage. You guys know that. So I was recently looking at my stash and I came across these, these really adorable cards. They're greeting cards. It says for grandmother on Mother's Day. And I just love how they were put together. There is one of them and they have this cute little ribbon on there. And this one right here that's tied with a little piece of twine and it's got the die cut right there, the cutout. Isn't that beautiful? Dated 1910. How fun is this? And I'm like, we can create these. So let me show you what I created using these two items as my inspiration. But first off, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to Cheryl and thank you to Tracy and thank you to everyone for leaving comments, liking my videos and subscribing. I really appreciate every single one of you. I am starting a new journal. Actually, it's going to be two and I'm super excited about this. It's going to be a holiday theme, so we're not going to be doing Happy Birthday and Mother's Day, but still, we're gonna be using these as inspiration. And I found the perfect digital kit to go along with the color scheme that I'm working on. And let me show you a couple of the pages from this kit. It is called Say Noel. And now that's French, and trust me, I took French in junior high school and I can't speak it at all. So what that means in French is it's Christmas. And it's by Ida Jane Designs, and I'll put a link to her Etsy shop in the description box. When I saw this kit, I fell in love with this kit. It's French inspired, it's got the florals, it's absolutely stunning and let me show you some of the pages here look how beautiful that is oh i just love the coloring and this one here and we're going to be using this one today this is a cut out of a larger sheet but isn't that beautiful i've already started using some of the others and this is just part of the kit and here is another cutout. There's a whole nother half that I've already used in one of the pages of my journal. But look how beautiful these are. They're absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh and it's going to go so well with these journals. I'm telling you what, I am super excited about this. yee Okay, so that is just some of the pages in the kit and go check it out. As with all of her other digitals, they're phenomenal. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, all right, let me move these over here. We're gonna use a couple of these today and I'll show you what I created. I've already created two of these cute little greeting cards. And here is the first one. Now this one is based on the one with the die cut right along here. And isn't that just so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. I did a little die cut right across the front there and you open it up and you have a little page there. And of course you guys know, I love to stick in tags and postcards. So these are just some that I put on the interior, but there is where you could write a little sentiment right along there and there's another page from the kit and it it couldn't be any cuter right this is adorable i love this so we're going to create another one of these today and here is the other one that was inspired by this with this little ribbon along the side there oh i just think this is so cute and you know, these 
tutorials and things that we create together, they don't have to be complicated. And sometimes those are the most fun is, you know, you can really just get into making these and they don't take a while. And that's what I love about this project. So that inspired this. Look at this. So I did a sorry silk ribbon instead of this little ribbon right along here. I did a dangle. I added an applique. Yes, I know. I have to add bling. I just do. <laughs> and this is this is another uh, digital from the kit. Now, the thing with this is, let me remove my little postcards that I put in, is this is folded over. And so you've got some little tucks or pockets right along each side, which I love. Oh, isn't this page beautiful from the kit? Oh man. And uh, this is something that I thought of after I created this. You could also put a blank sheet right here if you wanted to write a sentiment for a greeting card, or you can leave it as is. You could also just add a page into the interior that you can remove or add an additional page in here. So there's really a lot of possibilities with these and they're so fun. And of course, you know my little add-ons. I love to put tags and postcards and all sorts of goodies. But how stinking cute is this? Oh, so let's just get right into it without me just going, oh, all day. <laughs> okay, so let's do this one first. All right, so I'm going to remove my goodies here. So what you're going to need from for this is a digital and, or not a digital, you know, whatever you want to use, but I used a piece of cardstock. And the reason I did is, oh, duh, I just thought of that. It's a card. Oh, oh boy. Boy, you're a smart one, man. <laughs> That's, oh, that's funny. Okay, so anyways, piece of cardstock. And the reason I did that is because the exterior needs to be a little bit on the heavier side, in my opinion, just so that it holds up to, you know, opening and closing. So one piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Let me move that one out of the way. And this is the page from the digital kit that I chose. And I did do on the back, I did a uh, print. This distress print is from the Graphics Fairy Premium site. And I absolutely love this page. It's so pretty. And the reason I do that on the back is I don't care for white that much when I create things. I like the more vintage look. So that's why I did that on the other side, but you definitely don't have to do that. And another thing that I did, cause I wanted to mimic this one with the die cut, is I did cut this out with a die cut. And let me show you the die cut that I used here. This is from Tim Holtz. Sizzix, it's thin lits, and I will put a link in the description box for this set of die cuts. I think they still have it available. I just love this. And that's another reason, in my opinion, for the cardstock, is it holds up, at least in my experience, better to the die cuts. Sometimes the thinner pieces of paper don't hold up quite as well. They tear a lot easier. And this is my 47 pound premium matte presentation, bleh, presentation paper. Now cardstock can go up to 65. I think it even can go up to 110, but just use something in my opinion on the thicker side. So what you're gonna need, like I said, is one eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. And then we're just gonna go from there. Now, what I did is I took the image right in the center because I wanted that to be the focal point of my card. And what I did is mimicking this little scalloped edge is I took 
one of these scrapbooking scissors and I just cut around the uh, image here and I made it about, let me see how big this is. And of course you can make them any size you want, but I'm just kind of giving you a perspective here. So my card is about six and a half when it's unfolded, six and a half in length and about six inches tall. So we're just going to do that again. So I am going to cut this out. Now what I did to make ease of operation here is I folded it up again. And so I'm going to fold this up also. And let's see here, I'm trying to get it about the same. Right along the side there. And then like I said, you can make these any, any size. But this will fit, I already checked into my uh, journal that I'm creating here into one of the side pockets. So we're just going to cut this down. Cut that to the same approximate dimensions. It doesn't have to be exact, right? No. And of course, look at this pretty piece. Oh, have to use that. Okay. Whoops. Got caught on my hand here. And so we're going to go and we're going to cut this down to about the same dimensions. I'm super excited about this journal, these journals. Actually, I keep, I keep forgetting I'm doing two, right? All right. Okay, move those out of the way. So does that look about the same? It's a little bit different, but that's okay. I don't care. All right. Okay, so there is the exterior here. And what I did on my example, as you can see, I love to add sparkle. So what that is, is some of my stickles right along here. Now, I gotta be honest with you. I had a little snafu. <laughs> so as you can see, the stickles got kind of smushed. I smushed a couple of them. And I don't know what I was doing, you know, whether my hand got on there. I wanted it to be little dots. As you can see, like this one right here, but they got smushed. And I'm like, oh man, but I like the way that looks. So that's okay. Now this one, I'm gonna try and do dots. So let me get out something here. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna put this over this little pad here, because we're gonna use this later here, so I don't wanna get all, um, you know, everything all messed up here. So what I'm going to do is use my stickles in gold, and I'm going to go just on each of the corners of the diamonds. And sometimes the stickles get goopy goopy on there so I take a pin and I just you know kind of poke it and then it works again so anyways I'm going to do that but I'm not going to do that here because I want to show you guys how to put this all together so I will do that later but that is what I did just to create a little sparkle right along there so I think Getting crowded here. Move that out of the way. And then what I did on the interior is I added two additional sheets of paper. Now this is regular copy paper. This gorgeous image is from the uh, Graphics Fairy Premium site also. It is from the Red and Green Ephemera collection. And and the reason I chose that is because I wanted a pattern to show through on this die cut. So I've got a piece, I think, maybe I do, maybe I don't. And then on the other side of that, I did do another image from the kit there. So let's find that, and that's right
right here. So we're gonna cut that down to about the same dimensions. And I don't know, did I cut off Santa? what did I do here? <laughs> I cut off Santa, not really. He's, uh, he's right along there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut the, about the same dimensions as this page here. Whoa, I'm knocking stuff all over. Sorry about that, guys. I got all sorts of equipment over here. Ah! All right. So I am just going to get going on this, and we're going to cut this down to about the same dimensions. And I am just going to wing it. And let's see. About the same size. You know, I use the eyeball method. You can be as an exacting as you want here. So that's, wow, that's pretty good for the eyeball method, Pam. Hmm. Ha! And then, I'm just gonna fold that over, and there's another, uh, the backside of another image from the graphics fairy. I'm not sure if it's the same one or different. Yeah, I think it is. I think it just came out a little bit different on my printer here. Sometimes that happens just depending on the paper you're using. Um, you know, maybe I grabbed another sheet that was a little bit different. And then I'm going to use another page for the interior there. So I'm gonna get about the same size. as the other one here and there again you know you know me i'm just the eyeball method here there's that oh this is so fun you guys i just love doing this i absolutely think it's just the best thing ever and as you guys know you guys probably feel the same way it's kind of like our therapy right this is this is just what we do I just love it. All right, so let me see, what do I got? Move this out of the way. I've got the cover. I'm gonna fold this over like so. So we've got our interior right along the side there. It's not exactly even, let me cut that up. Sometimes I'm, I'm picky about my edges and sometimes I'm not. So let me just even that up. Move that over again. All right, and we're going to put that all together. And look how cute this is coming together. Let me get out my bone folder here, and I'm going to create a good crease along the side. I'm going to distress the exterior here with my walnut stain because I like that look, right? Right along the sides there. And I'm gonna do the back. And I don't care that that's a little bit longer. I think that looks cool, like so. And it looks like I'm gonna have to cut the back also with those scissors. Hold on just a second here. Get that going. All right, now this little stickle here looks like it's wet still. So I am going to leave that for just a little bit until it dries, and then we're gonna finish that guy up. I'll move that out of the way. So this is going to be finished in a couple minutes when it dries. And let's get going on the other one. Where is my other one? Here it is. And that was inspired by for grandmother on Mother's Day. Ha! So cute. And for that one, I am going to use this gorgeous digital. Oh. I love looking at these. So let me remove my little goodies here. All right, move those out of the way. Now for this one, 
another eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. And I did print on both sides. There's the uh, gorgeous page from the graphics fairy there because I wanted, you know, that Christmas green. I just think that's fabulous. So all I did was I folded it. Really? So that is cool. Cool. Let's figure out how I folded this. All right. So I think what I did is I don't know what I did. <laughs> you've got, I, I, not you, I've got to be smarter than the paper. So I think I folded it this way. Whoops. Yep. All right. So what I did is I just folded it over like so. And that's uh, the only reason I wanted to make it the same is because I want the images to show up the same on both of these cards. And that's the reason I'm doing that. So I've got that on the exterior, right? This is going to be my exterior. I'm going to just fold this over like so. I'm get my bone folder out. Get that straight. Our garbage is getting uh, picked up. I don't know if you guys can hear it out there. Let me get this straight first. All right. Get that a really, really good crease on that. Now that looks fabulous, except I got a little bit off on my folding. All right, so I got to do that because this is one that I do want to get as close as I can. All right, now from there, I rounded the edges of these two with my corner rounder. So that is along the bottom, like so. Oh, so pretty. Eee, love this, oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna distress the edge real quick here, just because I like that look. You guys know I do. It just gives, it just gives that worn aged, I've been around for a long time feel. And I, as you guys know, I love that love it. All right, so that looks wonderful. Now, when I was looking at this, I was like, okay, right along here, you see that? That was another piece, an off cut. And for some reason, this white part right here spoke to me and it said, you need to put something right there. So on this one, I think I'm going to do a little music sheet a little torn piece here so i'm just going to get out my glue stick and glue that on there and that's you know just what what i see all right so i love that absolutely love it now so see you've got the little tuck underneath on both sides right love that and we're going to add two little holes right along there where we can thread our uh, ribbon through now for that let me move this out of the way for a second i'm gonna bring out the big gun now if you <laughs> and what i mean by that is we are memory keepers Big Shot Plus. Ta -ta -da. <laughs> I remember when I got this, you guys, I got to share this story. My daughter asked me, well, mom, what would you like for Christmas? And I'm like, well, I want, I want this. And she looked at it like it was something from another planet. She's like, oh, okay, Pam. I think, what is this called? I think that's a Big Shot Plus. Isn't that what it's called? I don't know. If I'm calling it the wrong thing, I apologize. Uh, 
So what I want to do is use, let me stand up here a minute. This, these two adjustments right here are for the big and the little hole punch, meaning right there. You see that? Now that's the little one. That's the 1 8. If you flip this back to the 3 16th, it is the larger one. And that's the one I usually use for eyelets. But this little one, the 1 8, I want to use um, in this particular application. And I want it to line up pretty close to the fold right there. So there's really no good way to do this. You just kind of have to. What I'm doing is I'm lining this up pretty much even with the side. And then you just kind of have to watch where this thing is going to poke in. And then I'm going to move down and do the same thing. And hopefully you guys can see. See, it's not quite right, but that's, that's going to be okay. Um, you can see when you're poking the hole through how... Um, how well it works, and I didn't do that too good, but I think it'll still be okay. Oh well. All right, so let's thread this through. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my pokey tool. Where's my pokey tool? And I'm just going to thread this through because I don't think you're gonna be able to see that it was, it, it was off a little bit. I don't think it really matters. So I'm going to go in on one side and go back out on the other. All right, like so. Oh yeah, that looks fine. And then we're just going to tie a bow. And you can, you know me, I like to finagle with my bows, right? that extra like that and there is the base of my card might make these a little bit shorter I'm not sure okay so we got that and final final is I'm going to add a little applique on the front like so because I just think that that just adds so much to it. Ugh. Now for that, I'm going to use my art glitter glue. And the reason I do that is I can get a finer line or a finer uh, glue, um, not globs, but you know, a finer touch on my glue so that um, you don't see the glue globs coming through. I like art glitter glue for that when you want to be a little more um, careful about where, what you're gluing and whether it's going to show through on your finished product once it dries. All right, so that looks fabulous. You can move it around a little bit before it dries. Oh, look how cute this is. Oh, I just love it. Oh my God. I need some more on there. I need some more like so. And then I am going to add a broken piece of jewelry. And I'm just going to clip that right along there. And get that bow to stay, right? There are our two cards, like so. And look how cute they are with these little goodies tuck on, tucked on the inside. There is another tag that I created from the kit. I just love it. Put a little postcard in there. I just think 
they look fabulous. And how easy was that? So those guys are done. And then we're gonna come back to this and see, did you see that? Look, it's still not dry. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to add the same type of um, stickles on there, not the uh, not the little dots that I wanted, but more of the smooshed around. So I'll do that later, no big deal. Now on this one, what I did is I used my regular crocodile for this. And what I did is there is the same smaller hole, just like the big bite right there. That is the um, 1 8 right along there. And I moved the border all the way back to one inch. And you can just stick your crocodile in there. So it's going one inch in from the edge. And I'm going right along the border or I should say the seam, not the border, the seam. And then I'm going to put another ribbon through right along here. Get this through with my pokey tool. It works pretty good. I'm gonna do the other side here. I just think these are so fun. Oh man, come on, you gotta go in there. Because you guys know when you're on camera filming, nothing works as easy as when you're doing it on your own. There we go. Okay, straighten out the, the ribbon right there. And then just kind of tie it in the center or wherever you want. You could be towards the bottom or towards the top. And then where is my bone folder? Get a good crease on the top and the bottom there. And ta-da! Look how cute these are. Oh man. Oh, I just love them. Ooh, so fun, so fun. All right, let me get out my goodies. Put those on the interior, like so. And what do you think? How fun was that? There they are. There's my two greeting cards inspired by this this is very cute and my two greeting cards over here that were inspired by this card how fun i got stuff flying everywhere you guys is that how you guys craft i mean i got stuff flying everywhere Ooh wee okay yay I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was so much fun to be here with you guys today. These are gonna make an appearance in my two journals that I'm working on. I'm super excited. I can't wait for them to come together. And I hope to see you very soon in my next video. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.